What is up, YouTube? My name is Hawk. And my name is Enigma Rick. And welcome back to another Silver Miner plugin review. Today's plugin is known as the Armor Stand Editor by a user named Ripo Phalum, or Rainbow Flim, or Ripo Phalum. What does this plugin do, sir? Basically, this allows you to edit the armor stand and all of its attributes, including placement, visibility, gravity. This is a good demonstration right here. And with that being said, this is actually a beta plugin, so you can expect some errors, although we have not actually found any ourselves. Great. All right, let's do it, sir. Basically, we're going to start off with the first command, which puts you in different modes. It starts off with slash A, S, E, and mode. We're going to hit that enter, and it'll show you the different modes that you can go into. Show arms, gravity, base plates. We're going to do the funniest one here and we're gonna go with size and that will allow you to see what you can do now you have to use the flint in order to choose the selection so it's either large or small so this way it's funny and not so funny so that's how you work that now these different molds work the same way so if you put base plate for instance you can basically toggle whether he has a base plate and that's how that works we're not gonna go over each and every one but you get the idea okay so I have entered into right leg mode and the next command is slash a s e axis and if you click enter you can see the different options which is only three xyz but we're gonna go with x and now that puts us the setting to the x axis and when we alter the right leg it's changing it on the x axis and if we want to change it to say y it will change it on the y axis so we can change all the little subtle positions that it has and we're gonna go to z just to kind of show and now his foot is in his face that's the way we want it. okay so now the third command is slash ase and this is a d j it's two different options you got course and fine we're gonna go with fine because of course this thing is pretty fine and that basically just changes the increments in which the leg will rotate so if we want to change that to coarse it will make it a lot more coarse of course Wonderful. So I have placed myself in copy mode and when you do that, there is a fourth command that you can use slash ASE slot and then you can pick whichever slot. I'm going to choose slot one. It automatically copies anything that you do to slot one. You can see here that it copied. It's copied on the slot one and you automatically then put into paste mode and then you can paste the same exact armor stand position and everything right there. And that's pretty much all there is to all the commands. However, there is something even cooler. So the commands you don't even really need. So I showed you that for no reason. All you need is the GUI, and Hawking will demonstrate some of it for you right now. Alright, so like Enigma said, there is a GUI. In fact, all you have to do to access said GUI is go ahead and look for a flint. Any old regular flint you find on the ground doesn't even matter. You right click with the flint, and there you go. You got yourself a GUI with plenty of commands and uses and things like that. So let's see what exactly is here. Alright, so to start off, we have here the head position, body position, right and left arms. I'm gonna go ahead and click the left arm. Now, just by doing that, with left click and right click, I can move the left arm back and forth with ease using the flint. So it's basically just an armor stand adjusting tool, which is pretty cool. Let's see here. I can go ahead and switch to the head here. Now, of course, it's only on one axis here, but you can access the X, Y, or Z axis. That's confusing. Through the GUI here, or you can also just go ahead and shift and scroll. Using shift and scroll, you can scroll through the X, Y, and Z axis pretty easily, so you don't have to go through the whole GUI thing. So I'm now on the Y axis, and I can move said head on the y-axis and Enigma's screwing everything up. <laughs> and as Enigma stated before, you can switch between coarse adjustment and fine adjustment just fine through the GUI. As well as there being a size option here, you click size, you right click, and you can make him small and large. There is also the base plate. I removed his visibility, so that's why you couldn't see it. There you go, there it is. It works just fine. It's not broken, I swear. Okay, go back yeah, to and, size. And he does have feet, but uh, I put him into his body. You know, oh, that, that, that's yeah. perfect. Okay, and you can move him on the X Y and Z axis using the placement tool. So I'm gonna go ahead and make him run away. <laughs> He's losing his clothing. <laughs> <laughs> He's and so fast the clothes are flying off him. That's basically all the options within it as well as invisibility and showing arms. You can hide his arms, stuff like that. So basically there's a lot that you can do all within the GUI. So it's pretty cool. Okay, so the last thing in the GUI to worry about is the copy, paste, and all these slots on the bottom here. So the easiest way to explain it is that copy puts you right in the copy mode and as soon as you click on any armor stand, it automatically puts you in the paste mode so you're ready to paste. Now, once I have some empty armor stands here, we're just gonna click and you can see that you 
can basically paste all of these anywhere really that you need so let's say we have a different position say this one and we want to be able to copy that as well so we're gonna go back into copy mode and we're gonna pick slot two so what that does it allows us to copy and paste and hold nine different positions right so we had this one I'm actually not sure what slot that was but we've got this one in slot two so let's go to let's go to this one copy and we'll put that in, we'll put in slot one put ourselves into copy mode we'll copy that right so if you want to go back into slot two and go back to this one that we saved we can go here and now it puts us into the second position and everything that we had copied so that's what the slots are for it's basically to save nine different configurations and positions so that you can copy and paste and that's really what it's for all right guys and that pretty much sums up the entire plugin if you guys enjoyed please be sure to leave a like comment and subscribe and would you care to tell the people how exactly to install this plugin on their servers with the new SM picnic installer sir once you logged into your server minor account you gonna look for SM Picnic Minecraft server. Once you get in there, you're gonna go to the server page. You're gonna click manage the server that you want to actually get into the control panel. Once you're there on the left-hand side, you look up for plugins. At the top of that page, you're gonna type in armor stand editor. And without even having to click enter, you're gonna see it pops up. You hit install, it does not take that long. And then you just have to restart your server. If you have any questions, you could just go to more info to get the page for the bucket. And that's all there is to it. All right, great. And we will see you guys in the next Severminder plugin review. Peace out, dude. Later.